Hello, I would like to introduce you to um, the UK grid reference system and how we use eastings and northings to locate specific places. If you go to the Burbeck College website you will see a tag that says find us and if you were to click on that you download this map. Clearly on the map, the, the, the key indicates the Burbeck buildings in blue and also to the right there is a scale. All the UK maps are orientated to the north so this arrow indicates uh, towards the top of the page the north direction. However this isn't terribly useful for us um, for the purpose of this exercise and even if we were to increase the scale of the map um, although Burbeck is uh, more readily identified in close proximity to Russell Square it's still not an ideal map so I've made it easier for us by producing this map with grid lines on you notice at the top of the page there's a sequence of numbers increasing from left to right from 10 through to 19 and if you also align those with the compass you'll note they are increasing towards the east and these are termed eastings. This series of numbers down here from 23 up to 31 are increasing up towards the north and these are called northings and we use a combination of eastings and northings to give us grid references. People get very confused which comes first is it the northings, is it the eastings, how do we do this? A very simple rule of thumb is that we go in through the door up the stairs, in through the door up the stairs, in through the door, up the stairs. So we always read the Eastings first and then we read the Northings. So if we were to try and locate this point of Burbeck College, um, what we need to do is think about the Eastings first and then the Northings. So the Eastings first, we go from 10, 11, 12, 13, so it's 1, 3. And for the northings, we've got to go up to 2,5. So the grid reference for that point is 1,3,0,2,5,0. Very easy when you have um, a crossover between the eastings and the northings. If we were to consider the centre of Gordon Square, how do we recognise this? Well, again, the Eastings are 1, 2, 0, and the Northing is 1, it, sorry, is 3, 0, 0. If we were to try and locate this Northing arrow, it's in the middle. And what you can do is break the squares down into 10 individual units. So 1, 7, 1.1, 17.2, etc. So we would go 17 and that looks about 0.5 and we would look at 30.5. So if I was to give the reference 175, 305, we could locate that arrow. And that's how the grid system works. I've used Russell Square, uh, the green space there, just to show you the directions of the compass, which is obviously to the right. But my previous video that's now available on YouTube shows you the compass directions north, east, south, west. And the way we remember that is never eat shredded wheat. We can divide a circle into 360 degrees and that's why zero is always to the north. 90 degrees that is east, 180 degrees is south, 270 is to the west. 
So in summary, all you have to remember really is to use the Eastings first in through the door and then do the Northings up the stairs to give you pinpoint accuracy for good references.